Sometimes it's one of those tasks that you can really dread and that's changing the color of something in a photograph. But dread no more. I'm gonna show you how to do it in seconds inside of Photoshop without having to create any selections at all. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from photoshopcafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. So today I'm gonna to show you how to change the color of something in a photograph in just a matter of seconds. So let's jump straight in without any further ado. We're gonna do two images. We're gonna start with this illustration of a car and then we're gonna jump into this photograph. So you can just kind of see it working in different ways. So this technique is really simple. We don't have to make selections or anything like that. All we're gonna do is go down to the hue saturation adjustment layer. So we're just gonna go under the adjustment layers and we're gonna choose hue saturation. Now here's an interesting thing. I can just grab this finger and drag on the photo, but notice what happens. As I do that, it affects the saturation. And see how we can just make that grayscale or very saturated there. Let me just quickly reset that by hitting the reset tool. And here's a trick. If I hold down control or command and I click and drag, now I can change the color. See that? Very, very easy. All right, let's have a look at a slightly more complex image. Let's jump into the second one. And before I jump into this, I'm kind of curious because right now, you know, I just worked on an illustration which kind of appeals a lot to designers. Now we're gonna work on a photo that works with obviously photographers. What are you, are you a photographer or are you a designer or you do a little bit of both? Let me know in the comments underneath. All right, so now we wanna change the red here, but we're gonna discover some new things. So let's create our hue saturation adjustment layer. So we're just gonna go under here, under hue saturation. This time I'm gonna click on there and rather than drag, I'm just gonna find some of the red there and I'm just gonna tap once. Now, one thing that happens when we do this, notice these little teeth, as I call them, I'm sure they have a real name, appear there. And this is the range that we're adjusting. So now I can use the hue and let's slide it over to a bluish color. Now notice as we do that, we're picking up all the skin and she looks like, you know, <laughs> she's off Avatar or something. So what we can do is we can refine this selection here and just pull it in so it's a little bit more in the tight reds. And let's pull the outer one in. And notice now we protect our skin tones. So you can actually just move around with these and the more you finesse them, the more you can get them to just kind of hit those areas that you wanna hit. Okay, so we get areas like this, you know, where the lips have turned blue. All we simply do is just go under here, grab the layer mask, and I'm just gonna grab a brush here. I'm gonna grab a black brush, make sure we're set to black, opacity zero, 100, and then just paint that out. And same thing here, if we wanted to keep this red, we just paint that out and we're able to change that color in just a matter of seconds. So if you love these kind of tutorials, I've got tons of these coming. Make sure you subscribe now to Photoshop Cafe, hit the subscribe button and hit that little notification bell, and then you'll be informed whenever I upload a new tutorial, which is at least every Tuesday, and quite often I also do Saturday and some other days. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash that like button into dust, and if I already said that, well, smash it again, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.